To find the oxidation numbers for each of these elements here in KNO3, that's the potassium nitrate, we'll use these general rules here. The first thing to notice is that there's no plus or minus sign after the KNO3. That's because it's a neutral compound. So in neutral compounds, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. So that's going to be important. Let's see if we can find each of the elements here in our rules and write the oxidation numbers. Potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. So it has a plus one oxidation number. Nitrogen, we don't see that here in our rules. We're going to need to figure that out based on the other elements that it's bonded to. So let's just call that X. And then oxygen, we have three oxygens. Oxygen has an oxidation number of minus two. So we have three oxygens and each one is minus two. In all of these numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So let's just set up an equation. We have plus one plus X plus we have three oxygens. Each one's minus two. So three times minus two, that's a minus six. And that all equals zero. So we have X minus five equals zero. So X is going to equal plus five. And that's the oxidation number on the nitrogen here. So let's just write that in. Plus five for the nitrogen. And those are the oxidation numbers for KNO3, potassium nitrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.